So men don't like me. They like to look at me. But once I start talking, it's a different story. So what do I do? I continue talking. This is about a tweet that I didn't think would get the response that it did, but it did. So I'm going to talk about it. The tweet was really simple. If a man believes that you'll never leave him, that means it's time for you to leave him. And I mean that immediately. Don't wait. Start planning your escape. And I'm going to be honest, while I am in a safe space now, your girl was toxic before. I didn't know that these this was toxic. I just thought that this was how it goes because I, everything that I learned about dating was from men. I was taught about dating and got to watch it firsthand. So I didn't fall for a lot of the bullshit that was sold to women. I fell for some of it, but not all of it. So whether or not some of my, I guess, dating rules are still toxic is debatable, but you can debate that with your mama. But my number one dating rule was so crazy. This, this is my number one dating rule. Never let them get too comfortable. Now, I want you to be comfortable enough with me if we're in a healthy relationship so that you, you can tell me anything. That level of, level of comfort is wonderful. Never get too comfortable that you feel like I'm not leaving. Never believe that I don't have options. Never believe that we have kids, so I'm staying. We're married, so I'm staying. I've invested so much time and money. We live together, so I'm staying. None of it. And it's going to piss some people off, but y'all not dating me. It's real strict over here. And this is for my girls who are very, I don't want to say nonchalant, but very laid back in their relationships. I love with the really loose grip. You are your own person. I'm not flipping out on nothing because it's all in your character. How you act is in your character. So if it's in your character, on your spirit to be a cheater, you're going to be a cheater. What is me crying and freaking out about it going to do? Nothing. Now that part is usually fine until they realize that this doesn't have to be my reality. I don't have to stay here. I don't have to be here while you do whatever it is that you want to do. Never be so scared to lose somebody that you let them treat you any kind of way. And no, you can't control what somebody else does, but you can control if they have access to you or not. So cut them off. Black Ram V13 back at it again. You know why? Well, it's because this is therapeutic, man. Back again with another video. Hence, another therapy session. Another beautiful day in the park. Somebody asked and said, hey, is it safe for Ram to be out there in Chicago in the park? Well, I'm not actually in Chicago. I'm in a Chicago suburb. So um, it's not too many thuggos and them out here. There are some, but they, they scarce and they stand out. Um, been in the birds for a while, although family and friends stay in the city. So I do have to go to the rack, uh, which we call Chicago. Um, on a regular but when I do my walking talks man we're in the nice beautiful suburb um, about 30 minutes away from Chi-Town anyway ah, you saw the video man the topic inside of this video well I might change it but pretty and petty man and we used to say that uh, the prettier the pettier, right? Also known as basically having, how can we say this? Light skinned problems. <laughs> or red bone problems, if we can use that, right? Um, she said that guys like to look at her. And yeah, I have to say that the subject is very beautiful, natural hair, minimal to no makeup. So since that's the case, then such a one being honest and being um, trying to be as unbiased as possible, you have to give such a one a high rating. Regardless of the attitude, if it's just about the looks, you have to give such a one a high rating. So I'm going to go ahead on and go with a 7.5 from what I see because it looks all natural and you got to give a high mark for that regardless of what the subject's attitude might be but this is what we're here to talk about the subject's attitude saying that um, the more the subject talks the least that men like her <laughs> that is funny funny She's bragging about basically being somewhat petty. 
So let's examine the merits of what she's saying. If a guy is comfortable with his woman and he believes that she has a certain amount of loyalty and love for him, a certain amount of loyalty and love for the family. She mentioned having children, um, you know, being together, that the moment he feels comfortable, listen, she didn't say. See, we like to talk about what she said, but let's talk about what she didn't say. She didn't say infidelity. She didn't say that the guy decides not to be responsible anymore. She didn't say that the guy has some sort of huge personal problem that's affecting the relationship. She said if he gets comfortable in the relationship. Translation, if he stops working as hard as he did to get me, to keep me, that's the problem. That's what she really means. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's decode this. So, there's never a time that you as a man can rest in the relationship and be like, oh, you know what, this is, you know, she loves me, I love her, uh, we're, we're so-called faithful and loyal to each other, this works, I don't think she's gonna leave me, I'm not gonna leave her. So that kind of comfort that's built in a relationship through maybe trials and tribulations, maybe something bringing together like children, pair bonding, pair bonding, all of that, huh? And the subject says, oh no, the moment you feel comfortable, she said it's over with. Now, wait a minute, man, wait a minute, wait a minute. And you could tell me if this was just cap or not, but even if it wasn't cap, the arrogance of the subject to say these things this way. So let me get this straight. Let, 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 let. Bruh, let me get this straight. If you all are married, we have children together, faithful and loyal to each other. So he can't be comfortable and say, oh no, my woman ain't leaving me, our relationship is great. And if he feels this way, that's enough to break up the relationship, break up the home, break up the family and become a single mother because the guy is comfortable in the relationship. Why is it that first of all, it's like a war zone when it comes to relationships with the subject? Why is it that when you approach the subject, even for a relationship or a date, it's always adversarial? So it's adversarial before we get into the relationship. And once we're in the relationship, now the burden is on me to not get comfortable. <laughs> or she's gone. Wow. What about love? What about pair bonding? What about family? What about what we have for each other? None of those things mean anything in this day and age. Brothers, you got to wake up. You got to wake up. Not only are they not traditional anymore, they're showing you in every way possible that you are just an item. You're disposable. There's no love. There's no respect. There's no honor. There's no long suffering. There's no enduring. None of those things. She said, once you get comfortable, she's gone. She's going to dismiss you. And she did it in a way or said it in a way where it's just sheer arrogance. Like it's just so easy for her to just pack her bags and go or have you pack your bags and go. But the truth is, <laughs> you guessed it, it is easy because she couldn't pair bond and love you in the first place. So petty. Now here's my question to the brothers who are listening to me who are in relationships and hopefully your relationships are exceptional. But my question is, what more do we really need to see to show that there is really something deeply, psychologically wrong with the subject? Notice this venom and vitriol is what the subject has for you, not you for it. Has a man ever said, hey man, if I'm with a woman, the moment she get comfortable, the relationship over with. Do guys talk like that? No. No. Are we petty like that? No. But here's the thing. The subject can make a statement like that. It'll go viral. 
and the yes girls, yes girls, in the comment section, and the amen, and the high five, and, and it's like, wow, you really don't have a heart anymore. Your feelings, your emotions, your heart, your love has waxed cold, cold as ice. Now, why would you want to build with a family like that? Why would you want to be in a relationship with someone like that? How can you build a family structure, a community, a, a society out of attitudes like that? It is impossible. And it's not your fault. These are all things going on in a creature's mind that's convoluted, confused, and chaotic. Nothing to do with you. This is what this creature arbitrarily decided. Hey, you know what? If a guy gets comfortable, the relationship is over with. What? Wow. And then before you say, oh, well, you know, it's probably not true. Just think about how often that you know, family, friends, associates, just think about how often you know the subject breaks up with their boyfriends or someone they're seeing or dating or even husbands. Yeah. Yeah. The creature changes relationships like clothes. If it's not known for anything, it's known for that one thing. Going from this one to that one to this one to that one and to that one and to that one. Over and over again. Musical chairs. Carousel riding. My point in this video is that within her is no place of rest. In her is no place of refuge. In her is no security. In her is no love, no honor, no respect, no loyalty, no family. You get zero out of the subject. So now you have to ask yourself, well, are you putting something into a system that would give you a zero net return? And then of course, the answer to that question is undoubtedly yes. An empty vessel, a creature that has nothing on the inside and everything the creature has is on the outside. And she made a great point. She said, yeah, the guys don't like me. They're like looking at me, but once I start talking, now I can see why. That you are pleasant to look at, but inside, whoo we is a whole mess. So once you get to talking, because what does the scripture say? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. But once you get to speaking and talking, all of that evil just flies out of you, which should be a warning to us never to take the creature seriously. Are there exceptions? Yes, there are exceptions. But I'm not here to talk exceptions because exceptions are just that. Keep it casual and occasional. Keep it at a distance. And for those who are really on another level with this real pill stuff, all the more reasons to get your passports, man. All the more reasons. Because everywhere you turn, every single issue that you can think of imaginable, the subject makes a mountain out of a molehill, man. And this is just who the subject is. And again, this is indicative of all of the confusion, anger, bitterness, brokenness. That's within the creature. And not just that. Let's add this other thing that we can never forget, which is pure, uncut evil. Now, what are you going to do? I say get your passport, fellas. Get your passport. Black Ram 313, just sharing some thoughts on this walk and talk. I'm out.